Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy TGV1 back with another tutorial. And this time, we're gonna take a right cinema and see what I have to offer for this tutorial. What I want to mention is I will be having an intro made soon by your tr yours truly, TG, since I see that my videos are bland when I record them, so probably adding an intro, intro, not intro, <laughs> intro makes it better, and <laughs> by doing that, I think, like, I'm not gonna make it too long, probably like 10 seconds maximum, like, I'm, I'm trying to learn with After Effects as well, so I don't have to just get it off a website, you know, that'd be dumb, so, what we're gonna do today is the Lightroom, many of you uh, like, I don't know if you guys realize this, but lighting is very important with anything you do. For example, if we just pull up a, um, where's the text? If we just pull up some type of text, it's gonna look bad for sure. Let me just find the text. Da -da -da, hey, up. Oh, yeah, yeah, the text right here. And once it loads, if, yeah, see? The regular text if we just type in if we just type in like TG or something and then we add some I don't know see like that and then we make it like some type of font like like so far like, you kind of get the point right that it's not gonna turn out right as it should See, if we just put it like that, oh, it looks cool. I want this. Oh, too bad. It's not going to look well. Because look at the shadow inside. You know? So, from that point on, you want a Lightroom. The best way to make a Lightroom is if you go to, let's see, Create, Environment, and then you make the floor first. And yes, you want that floor to be gradually down so you don't have to see it. And use use color on. Make that white. And you want to make this visible and render, of course. And then if we see, it's starting to look better, kind of, kind of. Then we do create sky, oh wait, light spot, just, it depends on what you really want. So for like my light room, like we can just try, we'll just try every single light. We got, we got this type of light. If we check it out, see, doesn't make it look good, but if you turn on shadow maps, then turn on visible, it should give us a little bit more clear picture like that. It looks Gucci, I tell you that, it looks good. But maybe if we try it Omni and the shadow and you put none, it looks even 10 times better. Look at that, you even got a glare. That's how you want it, kind of. But We'll move on so it's not just one light and I'm called a hypocrite for only using one light. Now we're gonna go into the spotlight camera, I mean light. With this light, it's more, it's different. Like you're gonna have to use many of these if you just want a perfect one. But for this, just like tutorial, I'm just gonna use one. Like it, to my, in my opinion, I'd never recommend this to anyone because it, it looks like you're trying to make an intro, to be honest. <laughs> so you don't want that. Uh, let's try the area light. Area light seems like a good light that we can always use. And if we do the same as we did with this, oops, 
I probably should not say. No. All right, wait. Let me just position this right a little bit better. Now, with this light, I recommend you use two of them. So if you go and make Control C, Control V, and then you go back here, you see how it makes it a little bit better than it was before. And you just want to hit render. See, it kind of makes it better. You get shadows and everything, but I don't recommend these lights either. Like the best light so far was this light, which it really does bring it out. And if, if I show you example, like with the Roblox character, oh, you, you're going you gonna to just fall in love right away. Just automatically fall in love. So we just open this. And we bring him up. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> we bring him up. Turn around. And make like a render of him. Ooh, wait a second. Let's bring that up more so it doesn't hit the character itself. And if we go into, like for example, Where did I put it? I put it in like a folder. All right, it doesn't matter. So that's what it would look like if you did that. But I'm gonna show you what my Lightroom is. I was just showing you right now what type of lights and what you should do. Since my Lightroom was made a long time ago and it's probably still one of the best Lightrooms I'm using to this day, which I'm really proud of. Even though it, it wasn't like given to me, I watched it from, I don't know if any of you guys ever heard of Vexio, who was a previous graphic designer like I am today great guy I I recommend if if he still does graphics just to go to him too as he would go to me if you ever did so for my Lightroom I did sky which is also a option you can use since it does enhance the render floor and then the light I showed you guys before because those like in my opinion, those three together just make it 10 times better. Like, for example, I'll do the text again and I'll render that out for you. And you guys see, hey, this does actually work. It, it, it's perfect. I just want this again every single time. So you don't, like, have to get it in a new one every single two seconds. So you put it in this. And then we rotate it since it doesn't want to rotate. And I don't know if you guys would like like me just to hold on for that Roblox video and teach you guys more about Studio itself since many people um, might get confused because uh, from time to time I do get go a little bit fast but if I do if I don't it's just you guys can catch up right so see the render itself looks good, right? I recommend this Lightroom. And I will be giving away this Lightroom if I can get at least, at least 50 likes on this video. Like, you can share it with your friends and be like, like this for me, for my own sake. Because, you know, why not like my videos? You're showing support. I mean, so far you're showing support just by viewing my video. 
and after that you can like contribute more and you, you just make me feel like making more videos for you guys so yeah that, i appreciate that but i'm gonna try do some more with this because it's been a while since i've done it with these so extrude nerves caps Um, control paste, point two, one point two, and then you can just, in, make sure if you ever want to make your own material, you double click down here in case you ever try to do this, what I'm doing exactly, um, transparency, Glow, some glow. All right, so I just gotta paste this on the copied one because why not? Oh, let's just push that back. I mean, it looks kind of nice, right? So probably a five centimeter and five this way and then you move this over here I mean you get the point this light room oh god why did you just do that <laughs> I mean you get the point so far of what it does and what it can do for like your own sake Ooh, reflection so yeah you get the point that this light room that if you ever like want it or you know just oh like please give it to me like I will I will give this to you guys if I can get that those likes and everything since I mean it's not hard to make either you guys can make this on your own but I don't want to be that rude person that is like hey you, you either do this or you can't get it at all I'm not showing you how to do this oh sad like you know I'm not that type of really like I'm still exper experimenting with my own graphics so, like, the more orders I get, the more I learn. You can't, there's nothing against it. Reflection, what should I put? 13? Oh, God. I should probably change the color. Make this, like, a white, you know? Then we try that. Bada bing, bada boom. It looks nice. It looks nice. See, this is what I'm talking about. You guys can do this type of stuff with this Lightroom with anything. You can make your own YouTube banner. You can make your own Roblox ad, Roblox logo with this. You can you can do anything. Like, the possibilities are crazy. So what I want you guys to learn from this is what I have. Lightroom, I mean light, floor, and sky. These are the settings, I'll go one by one. You can pause the video whenever you want to. Floor, and then light. I really wanna thank y'all today, and I might, just might, have an updated logo as well, instead of just a regular 2D logo with the splash of paint coming out, I might, like make it 3d like i'm doing right now but like on a later on date sorry i'm just it could be <laughs> on a later date not right now currently because i worked really hard on that logo and making everything set up so expect in a couple months or so to be updated on everything in my signature so i want to thank y'all for watching this video drop a like remember this is a giveaway drop drop a like and then i will post the link once i hit 50 likes 
and thanks for watching this video on my previous videos i really want to thank y'all on that that's like great support you're showing me and for that i thank you very very much mulas i'm just kidding i don't get mulas i'm broke all right peace